Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray here. We're looking at a song called Passing Through Matter. The problem is, is it's simply not loud enough. It's a great song, great dynamics, everything works. The issue is, is I'm on a deadline. And so I don't have time to call the collaborator, tell him to make changes. On top of that, if I wanted to remaster each and every one of these, that would take him a while as well so what we're going to utilize right now is if you're ever in a bind we're going to talk about batch processing okay so you can see that the overall integrated loudness of this song is negative 15.2 okay this is mastering the mix a great program called expose you're going to definitely want to check this out so you can study the loudness of songs and study their characteristics so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring you into isotope rx7 all right so let me go ahead and delete all these files here and we're going to do some batch processing key command is command b all right so you get this dialog window i'm going to start adding files okay here are the files in question we're going to bring them in from here i'm going to apply some processing in this case i only want to apply loudness another great reason to do batch processing let's say you've rendered a bunch of files with vocals you can actually change the volume levels of your rhythm section your bass your vocals you can use music rebalance for that which is inside of rx i'm not going to use that we're going to stick to loudness i'm going to view the plugin it's right here and so the specifics are hey true peak i want you to stay at negative 1.0 integrated loudness negative 10 LUFS. This is great. It works for me. I'm now going to record those settings, which basically sets me up to now batch process everything all in advance. So as stated, the loudness is not where it needs to be. It's currently at negative 15.2. Although acceptable, it's not going to make the impression that it could make if it was louder and so this is why we're taking the louder version of the song it's important that you pay attention to these numbers and figures it's not enough just to write the music and and even if it sounds good if it if it's played back next to something that sounds vicious and loud and it's super imposing what's going to end up happening is your song will sound weak in comparison so Obviously, the best solution is to go back into the session, but this pertains to anybody that is in a hurry. Uh, this is just a good workflow to have in your back pocket should you not have the time to dedicate to making it better. I mean, sometimes it's just not it's not going to happen. And so here's the file here. It's been normalized with the program, and now we can see that this has made a world of a difference. Negative 10 integrated loudness you can see that the waveform is much more uh positioned and stronger and so i like that and, and and also the dynamic range was reduced as a result of i love that the true peak stayed right where it was it's fantastic okay let's hear what kind of a difference that made sonically Okay, team, so next time you need to batch process, I highly recommend Isotope RX. They're currently on version 8, so you might want to check that out. I'm going to get out of here. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.